This is Humber Library's APA in Minutes. This video will show you the basics on how to cite a website in APA format, so it will end up looking like this. To cite a website, you will need the author's name, the year and date of publication or update, if available, the title of the web page, the name of the website, and the URL. Sometimes you may find it difficult to find all of this information. Be sure to look carefully throughout the website. Begin with the author's last name, comma, and initial. After the name, add a period. The year, comma, month, and day are added next, in parentheses, and followed by a period. Now comes the title in italics. In APA, capitalize the first letter of the title and subtitle. Capitalize any proper nouns. End with a period. Add the name of the website, followed by a period, and include the web page URL. This is your APA website citation for a web page with an author. If the page has no named author, use the organization, company, or site name instead. Add a period. The year, comma, month, and day are added next, in parentheses, and followed by a period. Again, the title is in italics with the first letter of the title and subtitle, and any proper nouns capitalized. End with a period. This time, the name of the website is not necessary as it is already included in the author field. Include the web page URL. This is your APA website citation for a web page with no author. If you can't find a date of publication, use N period D period to represent no date instead. If the only date on the website is in the copyright statement, APA style recommends that you do not use it. This is your APA website citation for a web page with no date. For an in-text citation at the end of a paraphrase, add the author's last name, or website name if no author is listed, comma, and the date of publication. Include in parentheses and follow by a period. If citing a quotation from this website in text, be sure to also include the paragraph number. Add a comma after the date, then para followed by a period, and add the paragraph number. Finish in parentheses, then a period. For more on in-text citations, watch the video linked in the description. Your reference list will be on its own page at the end of your paper and will contain the full citation information. Make sure to put your citations in alphabetical order. Don't forget to double space and indent after the first line. For more information and support with APA, book an appointment with the Writing Center, consult the OWL at Purdue, or refer to the APA resources available at Humber Libraries.